about the difference from last year to this year and the start that you had? Uh, well, I mean, when you look at uh, you know, when you look at our team uh, by adding by adding another player of her caliber and the way she plays, that changes the, the makeup of what we're trying to do. You know, she's just so much more offensive minded and she creates a lot of stuff for herself and for others. And um, today was a perfect example of how, how Crystal's been practicing almost every day since, uh, since school started. So I'm not surprised what she did today. Uh, some other things surprised me, but that was, that was kind of what I'd come to expect from what I've seen. Got your hands on a lot of balls in the first half, a lot of deflections. Was that a point of emphasis for this Yeah. I thought our defense in the first half was really, really, really good. I mean, I don't know that we could have played that much better defensively. You know? um, I, I, I thought the, the effort and the execution was, was really, really good. Um, and it led to a lot, of, a lot of stuff on the other end. And that's kind of who we are, you know. We try to create stuff off our defense and, and go from there. Not so much in the second half. I thought the second half was not worth mentioning, to be honest with you. We always talk about, the, you know, we don't have a winning streak to talk about anymore, but the other streak without the back to back losses is whatever, it's almost 900 now. Was that, oh, that would have counted, even though it's two separate years? And is it regular season or just total? Oh, total. Oh. I wasn't counting anyway. I was starting all over. <laughs> I had my mind set up. If I have an excuse for that. You mentioned earlier about some other things uh, surprised you today. What were they? Huh? You mentioned earlier about some some things uh, surprised you today. What were they? I said how slow we were at times. How slow our defense. I mean, how slow I thought we we moved. I mean, it's first game. And I thought we were a little bit tired. You know, we had a tough week of practice. And, uh, We'll fix that. About the, um, you know, the back to back, just the consistency of bringing these in, you know, 24 plus years. You know, you know the kids have been around for two years back to back. And I think just, I don't know, how many times you've been the right team, even though it's something like that. Not to be a top 10 team. But just to be that consistent for that long. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't have the answer to some of this stuff, you know, why why we do what we do, why things have happened that have happened, uh, you know, we try to show up and play, and uh, uh, it was a long time ago, that last game, and, and even when we lose during the season and we have a game coming up, I think we're, we're pretty good at putting it behind us and, and moving on to the next thing, you know, we don't, we try not to carry anything with us. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's a big part of it. We, we, we have guys that, that, like to, that like to win. You know, those, they, don't, they don't take it very well. A couple of pokey local questions. Is there value in being in this building at this point? Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, there could be. If, if you're lucky enough to get back here. But when when the teams come back here, that do come back here, or that do come here, they won't even be the same building, you know, because it'll be sold out. The atmosphere will be different. The stakes will be much higher. So even though the, the actual structure will be the same, I think everything else will be different. Um, but hopefully, you know, it, it just causes a little bit of a a little bit of a buzz, you know, and, and then the rest of the season, you know, the people here can do a great job of selling the tournament. But uh, we've done this a bunch of times, and sometimes we've come back, and sometimes we haven't. So let's so hope this is one of those times when we come back. I know Stanford wasn't originally your opponent, but you played four, three pack, 10, 12 teams in your first four games. Yeah. Did you find that bizarre? Or what it is kind of odd, isn't it? It is kind of odd. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be Ohio State today, but it just didn't work out that way. Uh, there were some logistical problems that that came up, and uh, we ended.
end up playing Stanford. So Louisville plays Ohio State. <clears throat> and then the other ones, you know, yeah, UCLA thing was pushed back because of circumstances. And, you know, the Cal game was something we put together. Uh, it just so happened this was the only time. So to open the season with you know, three out of four games against uh, Pac-10 teams, I guess they're Pac-12 now. I can't keep track of all these damn numbers. Uh, it's odd, especially at the conference that far away from us. You know, 3,000 miles away. That was sad. Point guard, young point guard now. When to shoot, when not to shoot. Do you think she, she seemed like she made the right decisions? Of, Crystal. Yeah, when the right time part. to tag. Yeah. I think she took I think she took one or two bizarre things that I thought were weird, you know. And, and uh, the rest of the time, you know, she's uh, she's she's pretty sharp when it comes to when to, when not to, and the patience that she.